Uh, we are all trained in leading in uncertain times and unfamiliar circumstances. Sometimes we, we don't know that we're trained for it, but we actually really are well trained for it. When I started commanding a platoon of 30 people out of Duntroon, I, I felt ill-prepared, not equipped. I did it. Then I became Company 2IC on operations. I felt, and it was actually in warriors, in, in armoured vehicles. I was a light infantry, and I felt ill-equipped to do it. But I did it. And then I went to Battle Group Command and I felt ill-equipped. But I did it. Divisional Commander, I felt a bit ill-equipped. But I did it. State Recovery Coordinator, I felt a bit ill-equipped. But I did it. You set up all these steps. Don't underestimate your, your capabilities. Feeling a bit anxious about it, it's totally normal. But just know that the system... If you've used it, if you've learned all the way through, you're well equipped. You're well equipped and you will succeed. I've got three simple, and I say simple, but they're not simple, keys to success uh, in leading. The first, you must have strong technical knowledge, and I'll talk about that shortly, but that you, you will pick that up in, that up in individual training uh, and education. The next thing is you have to have systems architecture that will support you leading and commanding. And then finally, personal attributes that support leading. And I think they are, you'll pick that up certainly through individual and collective training. But to be honest, I think the thing that really helps is experiential learning. Uh, to me, that's been, that's been the cornerstone of what's helped me get through today and tomorrow. And the most simple lesson from a four-star general to me was, um, so we're talking about how, how you lead when, you know, there's all these, uh, I guess, when the environment might be political or there are other complications at that level. And the four-star just said, when it's raining, learn to operate in the rain. So what he was saying is, don't cry about it, accept it, learn how to operate in it, thrive and survive. So if I talk to you about the photo in the middle, that's actually of a uh, PMV that was hit in Iraq. I happened to be in the CP in our command post at the time that it was hit with a massive IED. And all we got over the radio was PMV destroyed. And we knew there was a section in that PMV. Now, I don't think there was a single person in that CP that, that didn't feel physically ill. Is, um, so there's a story. I was in Timor, 19, uh, sorry, 2000, and we used to do these reunion visits. And anyhow, um, uh, at the reunion visits, when I was there as a company commander, things went a bit awry and there was a bit of a riot. And uh, my, company, my battalion commander said, where were you when this happened? Where were you? And I said, I was there. And he said, you weren't there. I don't believe you were there. And I, I said, well, I was there. And he just, he wouldn't believe me. Fortune was smiling on me because Sydney Morning Herald the second day, on the right-hand side, you can see a slightly younger Jake Elwood um, at, at the point of main effort, all right? Resilience. Now, I, I talked about um, the fact that you... Experiences in disaster relief are useful for experiences in conflict. And the only way you'll become resilient, I think there's, there's a couple of things. So I, I say that physical resilience is the pathway, part of the pathway to mental resilience. I've had a 30, career of 35 years and I've seen some pretty ordinary things, but I, I still feel... Great, wonderful, super. The constant in my life has been running, right? So I get home from a deployment, that's the first thing I do. I throw on my running shoes and I'm off. Um, and so I think, and we know that running or cycling or whatever it is, you must, you know, you do that, you actually enhance your, your 
mental wellness, and that's important. So I strongly encourage everyone, and that's why also we came up with Run Army, bring the community together as well, because we think that's, a, that's important.